Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, I hope to make today a little less haphazard than than Friday was. Sure, we, we can all have dreams. Hello, my lovely sheepies, and you too. Uh, <laughs> all right, I gotta get. I gotta try to finish getting. Uh, let's not break the glass. I gotta try to finish getting enough mushrooms to fill that one. And honestly, I mean, I guess I could take the ones that I. Oh, you know, I hate when I have a smarter idea after I've already started a project. Because uh, I really should have taken the two mushroom spawn eggs, put them in there. The whole point of those trapdoors being the way they were was so I could take a lever and put the lever down to keep the babies from escaping and then I could have made enough mushrooms to make that work. <sighs> okay, uh, anyway, so these guys are cranking along. The wool is collecting. I, I took everything. I already had this backup once, and I took everything and put it into storage. And I, I've started working on. Uh, I, I've got enough wool to uh, to to. I, I've got a decent enough backlog of wool. I'm gonna try to get a decent enough backlog of all the different colors of carpet, and then I don't know what I'm gonna do from there. Uh, other than. I realize that I really, 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 really need to finish this setup here. Um, I need to figure out a way that once this is turned on, a signal comes this way that turns all of these off. In other words, it powers all the dispensers so they will not actually trigger when the sheep eats the grass. And that way I don't have to worry about uh, wool and entities collecting and shears getting worn down when there's no there's no room for storage. Uh, I had initially decided to just do something like this and run a little power repeater all the way down, except uh, <laughs> uh, unintended consequences. Um, when this one triggered, it also powered this block which powered everything else further down the line and, and et cetera, et cetera. you get the idea all the way across um same same if i just put repeaters in between each one of these uh it just powers all of them all the way across so i gotta figure out a way to set this up so that this power signal will turn all these off but one of these triggering doesn't trigger everything else down past it and I didn't realize it until I started thinking uh, I want to make sure that I also have an auxiliary on off switch so if I just you know I don't need every color I just want like more brown and gray for some reason I, I can shut off everybody except for the colors that I want to collect and one big manual on off switch that I can turn this whole thing on off um, even even if this isn't full but that's not the that's not the hard part because I can always if I'm shutting it off based off of this block being powered I can always put one more lever right there and uh, and that'll that'll take care of that master switch. Uh, that's the redstone project. It it should be a quick one. Should maybe. Uh, I do need to do the rounds real quick, and uh, not much, but I'll take it. Oh 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 ah uh. ah! Uh, doggone it! I just realized uh, I. All right, you'll you'll see why I. Just realized that was a bad idea, I admit. Uh, let's head on over where I'm starting to, to get my villager population back up. These three guys, I need to get a tr I need to get them uh, with their trades set up. And that that's gonna be another weekend of frustration, so I can get my uh, protection guy, my sharpness guy, and an efficiency guy, and maybe a better efficiency guy than I had the last time. Uh, I've started, I, I've got my farmers in there. That was not fun. Um, 
and I got to get these guys uh, set back up to master level. I got my third Mason back, and he is up at master level. And okay, I thought I was wondering where I got all the other cyan from when I bought it from this guy. Uh, I'm not overly thrilled about the trades, but yeah, you know, that, that's not the main thing. Uh, so maybe this guy will do his job. And what I do need to do is I also need to collect enough name tags that I'm just going to name tag all 16 villagers, the 13 in here and the three over there. We'll, we'll get to whatever I name them in a little bit. Uh, I still need to tear down the, the, uh, sugarcane farm up at the top of that so that I can get more, more cacti. Uh, I, I need to, I need to, I need to double my output on this so I can get more sand faster because the, this little onesie twosie is, uh, this is killing me. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get more cactus. I've got to get more cactus. Uh, okay, I already cleared that out too. And uh, that's about it for the moment. Let me, uh, let me let me go do a quick round of iron trading, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. I I do want to get back to that river project because one dot eighteen is doing doing the rounds. It will ostensibly be out in a week? Question mark. Um. I am not feeling as confident about that as, as some people are only because uh, I, I've seen some of the issues that are still happening and, and that, well, I, I was skeptical to begin with, but uh, that, that is not, that is helping to reinforce my innate skepticism. How about we go with that? I, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The devs are doing a wonderful job. They're doing the best they can. Uh, I just, I know how software development works. And I know with some of the bugs they're looking into. Of course, they're also unfairly getting a lot of flack from various members of the community. Which is not helping anything either. Uh, so, go, go show the devs a little love. Uh, give them, <laughs> tell them they're doing okay. It's hard enough without making it harder for them. Does that make sense? That would make sense. All right, so I need to let that that pack back up. Uh, oh, that's right. I came over here because this is where I I built. I can't remember how much of this I had built out in the stream and how much I built out afterwards. Uh, I want to get a seed reserve over here for my micro crop farm, so that way when I need a lot, I've got everything I need to make that happen. And I move my little composter setup over here, so I can get bone meal generating near where I, where I'm probably going to end up using the most bone meal. Uh, and doubled up my my bone meal storage. I, I may even. Or re readjust my allocation there because I don't I don't see myself getting that many bones, and just make room for more bone blocks. Maybe we'll see. And the chickies have been working and getting their thing done. Let's uh, let me let's take care of the mushrooms. Hello, beach duck. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that that actually gives me nine mushrooms. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So a little bit later, we'll get these guys moved into their pen over there, and uh, and then and then go from there. One of these days, I might even have to get around to. Uh, working out the the design <laughs> some of the design on these like I, I i've got my crop farm that is in dire need of an exterior and uh and a few other things like that all right there's one more 
Let's go. Hmm. All right. Hey, Axonim, how you doing? Yeah, the island the island has definitely grown. I, I've uh, expanded out the machinery. Finally, got my village set up. Uh, still getting these last three guys. Oh, <laughs> getting these last three guys for the second time because some some bug or something. I don't know what made a bunch of my villagers disappear. So I'm I'm having to repopulate. It, it makes me just a smidge cranky because the villagers that... Uh, I didn't mind losing my two farmers and uh, the, the third mason, but I lost my protection guy, I lost my sharpness guy, and I lost my efficiency guy. They, they just, I don't know, they disappeared. I, I went AFK, came back, and they were gone. So... I, I'll do that part off camera where I keep putting down the lectern and yelling various various things about their parentage until they select the uh, the books for trade that I want out of them. <laughs> let me get a little more of this. Uh, let me get this iron farm going. Oh, oh, come on! I heard the thing. All right. Because uh, I, I need uh, I need the emeralds so that I can go get enough name tags to uh, name tag all these guys in the hopes that that will help prevent the unfortunateness that happened earlier. All right, that's about all I'm going to get out of you guys for the moment. I'm going to leave the iron farm off because I found out that if I'm running the iron farm... Yeah. <laughs> the, the, putting, putting these three guys in the iron farm was probably the best deal. Um, although, I really do need to get around to making another uh, smithing station, you know, somewhere closer. And adding that on-off switch to the iron farm design was also an amazing plus... I, I can't remember if you saw, if you've been by since I finished that iron farm. Uh, but that's that's the basic design. It came out of a video from Avamance. I made two small additions. I found that his trapdoor wasn't working quite the way that I thought it would. So I've got a sticky piston with a glass pane for turning the farm on and off. And I attach said sticky piston to this uh, target block where I can either manually flip the lever or get a reading out of one of these hoppers and, uh, and then use that to power that block and shut the farm off when the system gets full. So if I were to leave this on, as soon as this hopper starts backing up, it automatically shuts the farm off. And that way we don't have to worry about lag and stuff. Oh, hang on. Uh, I got to... Uh... Okay, there we go. I, I, I hate the follower spam that has become increasingly more common. Uh, mm. That irks me. Alright, let's try to get these guys named up. Although... Alright, so I got those five, and... I gotta, I gotta build up my stockpile of name tags. Although, I should end up with some more emeralds. Yeah, let me, let me, let me try to get the, the villagers going. Um, my fun little furnace array, if I end up bumping into my hopper limit, I may take these two hoppers out of this furnace array and set up these two as like a cooker, uh, a smoker and a smelter. Um, 
that, that that's a possibility. And I still have, oh, I keep forgetting about that. I still haven't figured out how to get the auto shut off on this one to work too. That, that seems to be a recurring theme. All right. I need. Thank you. I need. I need to get these guys trading. What do you take? You take potatoes and beetroot. All right. Let me run out to the farm and get some potatoes and beetroot. <laughs> That's okay, Arcadius. I. It, it took me a second to catch it too. They they are they they're getting better, sadly. I don't have a whole lot of beetroot. Never mind. I'm not trying. I'm not. All right. I mean, I don't know why you'd have a lot of beetroot, except maybe for red dye and for trading with these guys, which is why, which is the main reason why I had the stupid thing in the first place. But all right, let's get you squared away, my friend. What else you got for me? All right. So you got a pumpkin, but not the melon? Or maybe that's going to come in at the next one. Uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that'll come in the next year. So the next year is the one where we find out if they get the melon trade or not. I hope they do. I, I'd hate to have to murder them and replace them with somebody who will. I mean, uh... Let's uh, get that dirt put away. This is for the pyramid challenge. This has been this has been the slowest accumulation of materials, because the only way to get sand, besides a random lucky trade from a wandering trader, is a cactus farm. And trading cactus for sand is uh, the the only the only option. And so for the, the Great Pyramid, you're going to need 512 sandstone, 64 chiseled sandstone, 128 smooth sandstone, 64 sandstone stairs, 192 slabs, and 16 red sandstone. Uh, the other thing I wanted to check here is, okay, yeah, I'm, I really need to get a guardian farm with a quickness too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I, because I didn't want to keep having to refer to that, I actually set up some placeholders. So stack of chiseled, stack of stairs, my two stacks of smooth. I'm working on the last stack of slabs. And then I got all these guys. <laughs> uh, so at some point I'm probably going to, uh, double up the farm. I just, I do not relish the task of tearing down the sugarcane farm that's already in the top there. And I still need to find a home for the sugarcane farm. So that'll be that'll be there too. Cause I've had this turned off to focus the storage on cacti and uh Yeah. I can just repeat that design another layer up, maybe two, except he, I, I just realized here's the problem. I need to stop uh, turning the sand into sandstone, so I'll have the sand for the cacti. <laughs> and then... Yeah, yeah, the, the sugar cane can at least grow on dirt or some other stuff. Uh, it, yeah. All right, let me... As soon as Reyes is going to get on, I'm going to try to get her help with uh, some of these name tags. I think I'll name these guys out of the dwarves from The Hobbit. <laughs> Except I need more. I need more. More name tags. Um, 
I got the rest of my little uh, farm going over on this side too. Set up a nice little, nice little wool farm. So these guys get sheared the second they eat the grass and grow their wool back. I got one of each color. That was part of one of the challenges. Uh, I got a little micro farm moved over here. So the next time I need mass tons of, uh, of a particular thing, that, uh, that'll happen. I bet he's about to eat something. Well, come on, man. You camera shy? The second I turn around, that's when he's going to eat the grasses in it. There we go. And then the cart comes, picks it up, and I got to work on an auto shut off for the storage. And I got my various protein farms. Little, Nice little design where I feed them. The baby cows go down, or pigs or whatever, go down to either side. And then uh, when they grow up, you got the little the little hole right here for your looting sword. Although I just realized that... Uh, I think the I think uh, my animal yeah my animals are at the cap <laughs> I can't <laughs> I, just, I just built that farm for each of the animals that I can't use it because I have animals up to the cap hmm. some days some days that's how it goes all right Let's see if I can get a little more trading out of this. And then uh, at least enough for six more emeralds. And I think one of these had, yep, yeah, had a couple more melons and pumpkins there. Although we don't know if you're going to give us. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Uh, I've got wheat, don't I? Although I, I think I gave a bunch of wheat to Rayust earlier too, so. I can definitely do that harvest. That'll get me a little bit more. What do I have? Ah, I've got wheat. Never mind. <laughs> I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Ah, oh, the bats. I got every little dark space. Tons and tons of bats. Hi, friend. Nope. nope. I'm trying to get emeralds, not spend them. What you get next? Okay, good. You are going to do some melon trades. What else you get? Oh, not an expert yet. Alright, let's get the first suspicious stew. I mean, I would really like a cake, but that's more IRL than uh, in the game. <laughs> Alright. Suspicious stew number one. Gives me... Oh, I gotta get hungry. Okay. And if I were me, I would have put... There we go. And I got enough to get my ninth name tag. I really, really wish I could build a bigger, bigger village, but the the villager cap that we have is. Uh, 16 because Skyblock or because this particular version of Skyblock alright show me the emeralds hi guys
No, no, don't don't need more than one sharpness enchantment. But there there's a couple others that uh, I, I want. I don't have a looting guy, and that would that would be, that would have been really helpful. Instead, I had to sit there going over to the enchanting table and fighting with the enchanting table to get a decent looting. Uh, so the sword that I've got sitting in storage because I needed inventory space is uh, <laughs> a sword of looting adjacent. <laughs> uh, I don't have the stuff to do a proper bow enchant unless I get really, really lucky on the enchanting table. So more guys for that kind of stuff would be nice. Uh, in a normal vanilla world, I'd probably try to get some guys with the enchantments for tridents because I would try to get a trident. Uh, even if it's just for the purpose of, hey, I have a trident. <laughs> All right. Why will you lie to me like that? You're not trading any emeralds. And, like, I wouldn't mind having more than just three of these guys for this kind of stuff, too. You know, a nice productive iron farm, getting about six or eight of these guys to, to run through with the with the the iron trades would be kind of nice. Come on, guys. You got another round in you, right? Right? No? Okay, fine. Get back to work. Iron's running low. <laughs> I know I got him. Oh, I need to name these guys too. What do I name the guys in the iron farm? I got 13 in the village that I, I'm probably going to name after the 13 dwarves. I, I actually have two barrels full of stacks of iron blocks. <laughs> There's my 13 for these guys. I need three more so I can tag those guys. Oh, I know. That's why I wanted that. I'll try to get uh, try to get at least one of these guys back up to master because I'm down to my last uh, my last few carrots. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, place holders in place. I only have like 13 anvils floating around. I just can't remember where they are half the time. All right, let's let's do this. Uh in the hobbit. Uh well, that's fun. Somebody ranked the dwarves in the Hobbit. I mean, obviously. Obviously, obviously, Thorin's number one. He's the king, right? And we got Dwaylin. Yeah, I probably should do the full, the full name. 
I, I'm too lazy to type it all out though. <laughs> Dorylin and Balin. Biffer. Oh, yeah, I probably could do that in the iron farm, but then... It, but then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Three Suns Ironworks. <laughs> yeah. But then that leaves me one one guy in uh, in the village. Thorn. Oh yeah, yeah. I could, I could do the last guy as Gandalf. All right, I, I need, I still need three more, uh, three more name tags. Well, since I have to head over there anyway, let me, uh, let me go get uh, Thor and Thrain and Thor all named up over there. Ooh, which one do I make? Which? All right, let's not have you guys running around like mad. Uh, sure, we'll go Thorn, Brain, Thor. There we go. All right, we got we got our ironworks all named up and ready to go. You guys gonna? Can we get one more round of trading out of you guys? You want one more round of iron, right? All right. Maybe I should re re redesign this so it's a a little iron, sh a little miniature of the Iron Shod Mountains. Or should I put this in a cave and call it Moria? Oh, come on, guys. Never mind. Fine. Get back to work then. You're not going to do something useful. Alright. Uh, huh. <laughs> more iron. <laughs> more iron. <laughs> that could work too. Alright. Gotta remember that I stopped at Boffer. Biffer, Boffer. Bomber. We got... Bailey. I guess I need a new anvil now, too. Uh, okay, I got a couple left. Buffer. 
for <laughs> I kind of like that bomber's one of the uh food traders. So one of those guys back there will be going and Nori. Come on, guys. Why, why you gotta make this hard? Oh, you stood in the way and got named twice. Which... I hate you, villagers. <laughs> All right. So, who was before Owen Glone? Uh, Keely, right? Keely's the one that I'm missing. Because this guy should be. Yeah, I'm missing Keely. Okay. <sighs> villagers, man. I hate these guys sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I love having the villagers. I just some of the some of the movement and pathfinding type stuff really really kind of grates on me where they'll do stuff like that. Although, in all fairness, I could have waited until the morning. No, I couldn't have. This needs to happen, like now. Oh, come on. One more slice. One more slice. All right. Never mind. Try to get, uh, let's try to get a couple more emeralds out of one of these two. Level it up. Oh, he's only got one suspicious too? How you do. Is that really one of those ones that they only get one or two of? Looks good to me. I guess it is. Huh. Oh, and I forgot to I forgot to figure out what his stew was. Alright, we'll get to that in a minute. You sir. And you don't trade I don't trade melons yet. All right, I gotta. No, I'm not spending the emeralds. Uh oh, I think I got a bunch of rotten flesh I can trade with uh, our cleric over there. Get those la last three emeralds for uh, a repeat now. I know, riveting Minecraft right here. I'll get back. I'll get to the redstone that I intended to be doing right now instead of this. All right. That's a yes. Well, let's try to get this guy named again. So that's Kaylee, Oin, Gloin. I think I got Nori over here. Can you remember all of them without looking it up? Nope, because I looked it up. 
Yeah, I got Nori. Oh. Boo. Sorry. Brain is tired. <laughs> I get that. I, I I'm still kind of perplexed at somebody. Somebody put together a ranking of all the dwarves. Hmm? Yeah, that's what I said too. I I didn't I didn't go to the site because I I was kind of trying to figure that one out. A ranking of of what though? Uh, I'm not sure how they were ranking said dwarves. Uh, by the by, did you notice? Axonim suggested it that I name my three in the iron farm. Thor, Thrain, and Thorn. Oh no, I didn't see that. Hey. Who's who's still got a trade? You hiding back there, Thrain? Alright. Uh I don't think you guys are gonna give me one more trade. Not That's right awesome. Now. Also, I really want to know what this judging criteria is for how you rank a dwarf. <laughs> Uh, not by height. Yeah, all, all I did was uh, I, I hit up Bing for Dwarves and the Hobbit. Oh. Oh? Oh. 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 What? No. It's ranked by hotness. Uh, I mean, how... how that's not yummy. No. No, 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 no. I mean, they're dwarves. Like, I've... No, no, nobody, nobody ever accused the dwarves of being, you know, the, the, yeah, the, it, the magazine it's cover. <laughs> it's a hotness ranking, and they listed Ballin last, even after Ori. All right, so I got Dory. And let me guess, they probably put Keeley as one of the higher ones. You, you don't sound surprised by this? No, because this is literally why they hired him. Nori, Dory, Ori. Yep, Keeley and Feely are the two top ones. And they honestly, the way they styled them, they looked more like elves than dwarves. Uh, yeah, you're you're right on that one. Not by beard. Exactly. Like, it should be most impressive. Like, how else do you rank a dwarf other than most impressive beard or who can drink who under the table? These are the only two judging criteria that can be acceptable <laughs> for dwarves. Uh, or both. The Ooh, most impressive beard while drunk. <laughs> uh, d does... Does that actually change the quality of your beard? If you're a messy drinker, it does. All right. You has beard. Yeah, I know, but uh, A, I don't get that drunk, and B, I don't usually drink it via my beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you've spilt stuff on your beard before. That's yeah, not a beautiful thing. No. <laughs> Yeah, a medic's not here to defend himself, a and and b he's trimmed back that that beard a little bit since then. <laughs> yeah, he has. I'm a little disappointed. All right. He's he was like, getting nice. a magnificent beard. If he had kept it up the way it was, he was going to get unicorn hair clips for Christmas. <laughs> you, you would do that to him? Yes. No. Like mind. the little why, 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 why did, I, I don't. I retract the question, Your Honor. I don't know why I thought any any different. <laughs> uh, we are now in the court of law of public opinion, sir, so there is no takes backsies. <laughs> sure there is. Not on the internet. Come on, man. Level up. <laughs> why are you doing this to me? Hey, my farms did the thingy again where they have the stuff. Nice. All right. 
Uh, because I gotta do the farming thingy so I can get more cow. More cow? More cow. Not cowbell, just cow. I, I do like that one of the farmers ended up being Bomber, because I just started going down the line. Oh, perfect. And yes, Axonim, okay. that is exactly right. Everything said on the internet. Yeah, the nice thing, though, is I control the archives. <laughs> you know, I was having all those problems getting hungry earlier, and now that I want to figure out what this suspicious stew is, I, I'm not... I'm not hungry. So go jump somewhere. I have been. Of course, I've probably also been accidentally eating carrots and not realizing it too, so. All right, I need I need redstone. I, that's what I'll do, as I'll get back to the actual redstone project I'd intended to be working on. Because that makes me hungry. Or frustrated. Or both. It can be both. It can be both. How do I... Okay, I think I definitely have enough carrots. Do I have enough beetroots? Probably not. I was literally just complaining about the beetroots. That they're awful and needless. Oh, all right. What is... What is the suspicious do from villager number one? Night vision. Okay. Ooh, so if we're judging dwarves by beard and drunkenness, okay. how are we judging elves? How does one rank an elf? Uh, by how he prances off a horse. <laughs> that's not an elf, that's just Orlando Bloom. <laughs> And it wasn't that impressive. <laughs> but it took how many takes? I feel bad for that production team. Like, <laughs> can you imagine being the stage guy going like, really? Yeah. I get, we, we, we have the take, dude. Like, we're, we're yeah, good. We, we, like, we, got, we got daylight, it. We're, 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 we're good. Nailed it. You, no, why are, why are you doing the thing again? No, nobody told you to do the thing again. Dude, you're, you're just getting off a horse. It's going liter to, no, literally, it's going to be a half a second. It's going to be a half a second. Okay, fi fine, fine. We'll do it one more time. Like, I can I see that conversation. I don't know about the neck measurement, but uh, w would the pointiness of ears be a factor? That could definitely be a thing. I'm also trying to remember if Tolkien's elves were supposed to be tall or short. Because it's, it's another one of those weird things where it depends on which mythology you go, whether elves are really tall um, or short. Actually, the answer is both. Okay. Uh, the Mirkwood elves are apparently remarkably shorter than the other ones. Ah. Uh. So it's like where you're from. So, Pink Geek is from Mirkwood? Yes. I think he probably not here. All right. Oh, no, I need to be on the on the other side. All right. So I need to make sure that I get more pumpkins. Well, you make a farm. I have a farm. I've got a really nice space-efficient design you can use. It just produced a whole batch of pumpkins. I got a whole batch. Yeah, I get... I got 19. I got six in the last couple minutes. Well, I just got 19. All right, uh... And hobbits are already covered because they covered that in the book. What? How to rank a hobbit? Mm-hmm. How, how do you rank a hobbit? Uh, they are socially ranked by uh, the awesomeness of the gifts that they give the guests on their oh, yeah. birthday. Because on oh, someone's birthday, you I don't receive gifts. Part. You give gifts when you do give a party. By foot hair. <laughs> uh, in that case, we'd make excellent hobbits. Except I think we're both a little tall for that. 
Yeah, they already covered that in the in the book. Although if I live to see my 111th birthday, um <laughs> you're going in Guinness. Let's start with that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try something different. And now for something completely different. I think I need some I'm gonna need some temporary blocks. Let me go grab some slime blocks. Let me get that back in hand. Matter of fact, while I'm there. Which, as a random aside, is one of the things that I absolutely love about Tolkien's world, that the society that is most in love with farming and not adventuring and not shiny things mm -hmm. is the one that most values perceived wealth. <laughs> yeah. I just think it's cool how he, like, wrote that in. More pumpkin pies or cookies? Oh, I don't why know. Why is enough. there? Why are there not cookies? Uh, because I'm trying to I'm trying to trade with this guy to level him back up to master, and I didn't have enough emeralds for cookies anyway. So, I guess that's. But did you just say why are there cookies? Like we we question cookie? No. I said, which do I want? Ah, okay. I thought you questioned the existence of cookies. No. I just didn't have the emeralds, and I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> oh, I came over here for temporary blocks. It, you, you sound surprised by this development. You were, you were, you were expecting... What? How's your tea? It's good. How many things do I need for expert farmer? A lot. <laughs> I don't like that answer. I want another. Uh, I'm sorry. That's not how answers work. 130 beetroot. All right. So let's try. Although... Okay, that's definitely 130. Oh, come on. Let me around the... <laughs> let me around the corner. Let you around the riverbend? Just around uh, the riverbend? Some would say I'm already around the riverbend. Mm, a bend? I didn't say it was the river. Hey, hey. Now I have it stuck in my head and I did it to myself. Yep. You, you can't blame me this time. Yeah. But I could start singing Shake It Off and do a tuba solo. No. No? No. That didn't get in your head? Nope. Nice try, though. What about um, popular? We could talk about popular things. Nothing? Nothing. Ugh. I told you the brain is tired. I, I don't I don't know what made me think that working on redstone on a day when my brain is that tired is uh what what made me think that was a good idea. Exactly, Axonim. Thank you for somebody getting that. Yeah, we could go wrong. Yeah, just some redstone. Just a just a short redstone project, right? Actually, I think I figured this out. You have disproved your own point, sir. Oh. Well, not the part that I can't parkour. But. <laughs> 
Not Arcadius. That's your favorite ear, whatever they call Earworm. it. Earworm. There you go. I don't know why I was going to say earwig. Uh, no, that that's what you you end up making the apartment unlivable because you saw one. I did not the last time I saw one. The apartment was not nearly unlivable. Thank you very much. Mm. I did really good. Why did I randomly throw? Never mind. I don't want to know. Oh, that that's Ooh. that that's a rough one. Ouch. That's a rough one. That's unkind. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirty cactus. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot of cactus. Mm hmm. Yeah, I feel like there was a whole like little bit where like most of the pop songs were all those kinds of songs and it uh, was not good for anyone wait what do you mean for a little bit isn't that the very definition of a pop song something that will absolutely irrevocably get stuck in your head at the merest mention or the I second mean, somebody hums a couple of bars i don't think that's like the oxford definition but i'm not gonna say you're wrong <laughs> i mean all right, so there's my... Because I can turn that on and off like that. Also, speaking of, someone at work told me I misspelled color. What, because you put a U in there? Yes! I had to pull up the Oxford English Dictionary's website to prove to them that that's where that letter goes. Here's, here's the conundrum. I need to make sure that every time some wool comes through, it doesn't temporarily trigger every, every one of these guys. I also need to grab a couple of slabs or something so I get a better better platform. Actually. I could. There we go. Problem solved. You're starting to be like those other creepy YouTubers who just like what? stare at the screen and go like, hmm, let me just stare at my redstone for a minute. Oh, click, click. There's the problem. Uh, that's oh, A. No, uh, I, well, no. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that that's creepy, per se. Okay, unhelpful. Okay, that I will definitely give you. Uh, I do find it immensely frustrating when Mumbo just kind of like looks at this horrendously complicated door and goes, oh, I just need to turn that into a half slab. Like, uh... <laughs> How did I you also love that you knew exactly who I was talking about. How but. do you get from here to there? Uh, <laughs> please, please, good sir. Inquiring minds would like to know. 
I have no good reason to put those there other than to put those there. Oh yeah, well uh, there 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 are those moments too. Although usually he's pretty good at admitting to those, where it's like yeah yeah I, I after <laughs> after many hours. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Because for no good reason, I wanted to make all those green. I just want to stop spawn places just in case bad things happen. Yeah, some... Don't hear what I'm not saying. Some of it makes excellent sense, and then there's other bits. See, my my first inclination is to just throw a a a redstone block up on the side here, and basically that means that this will not fire off a signal until this is full. But I found out the hard way that this will back up without that necessarily being full. Um, so I guess I guess that's what I need to do is I need to figure out what the uh, what the redstone signal strength needs to be. And oh, I know what I need to do with those two iron blocks that I couldn't figure out what to do with. I need them for I'm something else. Carrot. You need it for a carrot? Is it is it raining? I'm under the river, so it's therefore not Oh yeah, it is raining. Huh. It is raining. Pumpkin carrot. Potato wheat. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have done instead of Bilbo, I should have named the last guy Gollum. No, that's what I need to do to the zombie that's running the iron farm. Hang on. ADD moment number 870... 70... however many. What was it? What were we talking about? Um, how and why am I dying? Uh, I don't know. Do you have unwelcome guests with you? Yep, 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 yep. Somebody sleep. All the sleeping, please. I'm sleeping. Sleep faster. I really wish it worked that way. And in the game, too. Potato. Wheat. <laughs> All right, VP of Iron Farm Production, you are now Gollum. So it is now Gollum <laughs> scaring the villagers. <laughs> And I'm, I'm with you on part of that. Some of the redstone does make sense to to kind of follow it along to a break point. The problem is, is when you get into some of the weird uh, quasi-connectivity type stuff that it, you you really reach some funny, not funny, haha, uh, moments of uh, that, that did what now? That did how? Oh. I need a... Compo compo a composter <laughs> and some pumpkin pies. Why pumpkin pies? Because pumpkin pies will reliably move the compost up one level in a one for one fashion. Which is kind of weird, but okay. Uh, so. Why 
worst case scenario. Oh. What? All that talk of pop songs. Now I have Taylor Swift stuck in my head. Oh, that, you did that one to yourself. I know. All right. Worst case scenario. Oh, oh, that's. Huh. Well, that is going to be a problem, isn't it? Because I, I figure worst case scenario, I'll end up with one of each color in the hopper. The problem is, is that one of each color in the hopper is only going to put out a signal strength of one, which is what gets put out regardless, as long as there's at least one item in there. So... So, I mean, if I, if I were to do what I had originally planned on doing, which was put this here and this here and then go like a so. Oh, how about I actually use the right component? Because that is one that will all that will output <laughs> regardless what. Oh, because are, are, are it's you one. are you thinking a Latin class again? Yep. <laughs> you you're not helping. You're not helping the 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 lack of the stunning lack of focus going on right now. I just want you to know that. Oh, I'm sorry. What is it you keep saying? Helpful wasn't in the Christmas budget this year. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take for that to come back around. And ta-da, we're there. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. I mean, the opportunity just kind of like was there. I couldn't not. Like, you can't just leave it like chilling like that. Okay, so for this to work, it would have to end up having 23 wool before it would before it would turn off. Which is not likely to happen. So how do I keep this from I guess I don't. that answer. I want another one. You keep telling me that's not how it works? Do I? Hmm? Huh. Weird. I grow faster. Uh, you don't. How do you make cacti grow faster? You don't. I, I really feel like we covered this ground once already, where, where, you know, just because you don't like that answer doesn't mean you get another one. You, sir, are being resoundingly unhelpful. I'm sorry, help wasn't in the Christmas budget this year. Okay. We're going to keep passing that one back and forth, aren't we? Yep. Okay. 
as long as we can acknowledge the state that things are in. <laughs> All right, let, let's see. Let's see how well this works. Uh, the problem is if this doesn't get enough of a particular color, it won't automatically shut off. So we'll see how that goes. Oh. While I'm thinking about it, I can at least get a few more blocks spawn proofed. I want to make sure I don't stop the cart from moving. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's see how that works and the, if that actually stops it from, uh... The idea is that once that is full... Wait a second. Never mind. Uh, I just had a better idea. Yeah, I just had a better idea. Let's uh, let's skip that. We'll skip that. Hey, when you got a second, do you want to come check and make sure that um my lighting levels are. <laughs> Not awful because people. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Although, I, I return back to one of the original questions, and, and I'm struggling to figure out why why you haven't converted the biome to a uh, mushroom. I think I was trying to grow something. You were trying to get sheep to spawn. Oh. And I believe you got enough why. sheep now. I have lots of sheep. My sheep have sheep. And you're doing the farmer challenge to get the cows, right? Mm-hmm. And you've already got the chickens and the pigs? Mm, chickens, yes. Pigs on the road, yes. No, but you have at least your first two. Yeah. Okay. And don't forget you got this little uh, pumpkin head over here. What pumpkin head? This guy. The baby zombie. Oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> Actually, he's perfect if you ever want to get your own iron farm going. Or, or are you just going to go, Arcadius, could I borrow some iron? I mean, I've got quite a bit of iron right now. Oh, from the uh, cobble generator? Yeah. Uh, does there have to be water near the sand for the cactus to grow? No. There just has to be no block directly north, south, west, or east. Otherwise it Ooh, will... Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, cactus does that. But diagonal's okay, right? Diagonal is okay, and if you've got the... <laughs> If you get some hoppers set up, you could get a small cactus farm going and just put a block at the next level up. Why do I need a hopper? To collect the cactus that automatically breaks off when it grows. Oh. I don't think I have any hoppers. I think I used all the ones I had. All two for your, uh... Oh, so you're like doubling up on your on your cacti yeah it's okay. the only thing I need left for this challenge oh. um be very careful collecting them with them packed this close mm -hmm. because they break off in a random direction so that means when you're breaking off this guy it could fall into that guy in which case it gets destroyed any item that breaks and falls onto a cactus gets destroyed just like that
That's part of why the farm is the way it is. There we go. Alright, options, video, That's options, better right? smooth lighting, off, so I can go resource, oh, really? that's not me, that's not me. They're after me though while I'm waiting for the resource packs to load. Hi friend. I completed a sugarcane farmer challenge. Did you? I didn't mean to. Um, yeah, your your roof up here is all not lit. It doesn't need to be lit. Are they? Oh, okay. Never. Mind. Oh, yeah. That. Okay. So you did bottom slabs for that. Never mind. I take that back. And these are all stairs. Yeah. Okay. Never stairs mind. and bottom slabs. Never mind. I think they're the right kind of slab. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I didn't even like to double check. Uh, all the leaves are going to be okay. You got somebody on top of that there. I, I don't know if you've got a branch up on your uh, uh, jungle tree. That may or may not no, be a problem. No, those come from the farm area. You've got... They don't ever come from over here. <laughs> you've got one block over here by this cacti. OMG. Hold on. I'm on my way. That's Stand all... on the offending block. <laughs> How, Sway? I, I wonder if that really is the only block. <laughs> We're serious? Hey, all it takes is one. Uh, that's all I see, and we've already cleared all the farmland. And these guys are lit up the same way, so they should be fine. It was literally that one block. It was literally that one block. Oh my goodness. Yep. It, it was that one block. <laughs> thank you. It's ridiculous, but thank you. <laughs> Hey, that's the way it goes. One block. Working on your uh, one sheep of each color? No, not yet. Not yet? No. Oh, that's right. You need the farmer challenge for the extra cow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Well, I mean, that's the way it goes. You you know, you think you get everything lit up, and then there's that one block. That one black block may mean mad. Like you know, I can't talk straight because I'm so mad at the block. One one block, and all of a sudden, you know, <laughs> your world ain't safe. You get <clears throat> shot by a skeletal sniper or something. <clears throat> that's what it was. Oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when, it, when I was working as a programmer, there was a lot of that going to one stray period, one stray anything. And your world is nothing but sadness and frustration after that. And I don't know why I put all that stuff away. I still need it. I was in the middle of coming up with another brilliant solution. This time slightly more brilliant. Because... 
So this time, instead of trying to pull the signal off of that hopper, I'm going to pull a signal off of the chest. I just got to figure out at what point, at what point do I want, uh, Uh, at what point do I want to complete the thought? Uh, no. At what point do I want to turn off the farm? Crikey. And then we'll go from there. Does whatchamacallit make the cacti grow more? Uh, whatchamacallits, while tasty, do not make the cacti grow. Bone meal? No. Oh. Uh, now if I can only could remember what the... Okay. That's a power signal of... Yeah, I think that's the most I can get out of that. Alright, let's see how this goes. And we'll go from there. Because... I need, oh, yeah. yeah Alright, I'll let that fill up and then we'll we'll figure things out from there. We'll figure life out from there. That also means that... I just want the lever. What makes the cactus grow faster, then? Time. <coughs> and? And time. Mm. There is no end. Mm. Nothing makes the cactus grow faster. Could sigh all you want, but that doesn't change it. You can still sigh about it. Okay, Jabba. It's and then I'll sigh if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh let's go see if I can get my farmer to level up just a smidge more. And then I need to start trading to get some glass and whatnot. All right, you are at Master. You're still at Journeyman. Come on, give me the XP. Show me the XP. Hey, Ark, do you have any cacti? Oh, uh, you've got two suspicious stew. Okay. Could you have cacti? <laughs> <coughs> All right, I got two suspicious stew to check out with this guy, and we'll figure out which one's which. And which one's going to end up killing me. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh? Yeah, I meant to put down an egg. No. I released a chicken. Release the chickens. And the little <laughs> brown chicken. Did you say a brown chicken? No, corralling chicken. Oh, corralling chicken. I was like, we, we don't we don't have brown chickens in here. On your island, maybe not. I mean, I sometimes wonder, since some of the other animals have multiple skins, like, could, could they not give, uh... Could they not give, uh, chickens multiple skins, too? 
Chickens wouldn't be pretty too. Oh, I don't know about all that. They are pretty tasty, but no brown chickens. What about a duck? A brown duck? Mm -hmm. I don't know about a brown duck. Come on! Oh, oh no, no, that's right, that's right. You guys keep bankers' hours. You're, you're not. Ah. I'm not doing good. Thank you for asking. Because you guys won't trade for me. Because it's after five. <coughs> yeah, you're right. That <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm complaining about it. But I've also been the other side when you're working retail. And you got, you know, that one customer rattling the door two minutes after you closed. Like, but I really need, yeah, I, I really need to go home. Turkey duck? Like, if we could make a turducken? I think she's talking about the turducken, yeah. I mean, if Minecraft wants to add, uh, add, add more... <laughs> Add more foods like that, I, I could go for a turducken. Nope. Ooh, although I just got a recipe from one of the ladies that worked today. Uh oh. Uh, for. Should, uh, should I be worried? A brown sugar seared tofu that looks and kind of has the texture of salmon. Uh. Uh, <laughs> one cooked chicken, one cooked duck, one cooked duck. No, not a piston. I mean, you probably you probably would put it all together, but since all your other craft, like you don't need a piston to make a block of iron, so yeah, yeah. To be fair, I do eat the eat salmon. It's one I, of the I was I was getting ready to say. I, I thought fish was yeah. one of your one of your okay ones. It was one of the few meats. It is one of the few meats that I eat. Like you're you're usually the one you know trying to convince everybody else to go for some sushi. No, I haven't done sushi in a long time. Well, yeah. You also have a thing about the seafood restaurant must be within so many miles of the ocean. Uh, yeah, my seafood doesn't need to be frozen in between the time that it died and when it was on my plate. <laughs> oh, don't hear it, I'm not saying. I, I, I'm i okay with that rule. Ooh, tofu lasagna sounds good. Mmm, no. Yeah, exactly, Beach Duck, right off the boat. Where's the... Where? Actually, pretty soon, Beach Duck and Mr. Beach Duck will be able to relate to that, because <laughs> it wasn't really while I lived at the ocean that I was that picky about it. It was the first time I moved back away from it <laughs> and tried inland seafood and went, oh, no, what is this? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Seafood's supposed to have more flavor than this. This is... Ew. Come on, guys. Yeah. One more trade. That's a yes. All right. I think that's uh, all I'm getting out of the... Yeah, that's all I'm getting out of these guys. I'll let them rest from the iron production for a moment. I guess. I guess I could do that. I need more blue glass. I need to get those three up and running. Uh, I won't. I won't make the live stream endure the billion and two placing down a lectern. Will you give me sharpness? No. How about now? No. How about now? No. <laughs> 
not fun at all. Come on. I need to figure OMG. out what the two stews are. Although, there's always a deep, uh, a deep suspicion that, uh, I might not want to know what they are. Alright. I need, like, 50 some odd cactus. Suspicious stew number one is... Jump, also, why are boost. you eating suspicious stew? So I'll know what they're offering in case one of them has something nice. Like, oh. jump boost is nice. It is. I've just never heard of anyone going, ooh, suspicious stew. Yes, mm, it is. Let me um, put it in my mouth. It is random in which stew they end up with. It is not random in... Uh, one, once you know that that is... When it picks that particular suspicious stew, so that will always be jump boost when I buy it. When he levels up to the point and it picks a... It's just like the books. Where, yeah, so when, once they make that stew, it's always that stew. It's just a question of which one did you get? <laughs> just just like with the books. A and that also means that if you really wanted to take the time, you could keep, you know, cycling through these guys until you got the suspicious stews that you wanted. So if you could get the one that has regen if you really wanted to. Although, honestly, at that point, you're better off finding a brown mushroom and, and working and working that way. Because that's going to be a lot less work than cycling through these guys for whatever you want. My lunch is not suspicious. I know exactly what went into that. I mean, I may not know exactly in the sense that I can repeat the recipe from week to week. But I was about to say, you have never <laughs> once been willing to give me an actual unit of measurement when I've helped you with that. Well, I mean, you know, it, it, it's, it's some and a few. And less than you did last time. <laughs> Hey, you said go till my soul said enough. I did not say go until your soul said enough. How much cactus you do you need? You said to do whatever I felt. How much cactus do you need? Uh, much. Hold on. I have uh, to go to the cacti. Hold on. Lillian, please wait. Uh, I need... 80. I'm not walking. Where'd you go? Putting up the other half of my little flying V. Uh, you better name it something else so Gibson doesn't get mad. Hey, there. over this way. Gibson? Oh, <gasps> thank you. No, who's got the trademark on the flying V? Not Gibson. Uh, I mean, not for lack of trying. I'll, I'll give you that much, but... Fair. I mean, let, let's be honest. If Gibson really, really put their mind and lawyers to it, they, they could probably find a way to make that happen. That's not unfair. Could not transfer all quarter... Oh, dang. Because your inventory is too full. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I've had those moments. Was it just the brown ones? Or, no, oh, that's right. You can get mushroom stew from uh, the mushrooms. I forgot about that. But it's only the brown ones that you can feed a flower and get a suspicious stew, right? I'm having a short-term memory moment. Again. And cow! Did you get your second cow? Yep. Nice. Uh, I can even be kind. Do you want uh, 
I mean, I can. Do do you want your two do you want two mushrooms a little bit easier? Yeah. I think will they count as cow? No, they will not count as cows. Mm, that's moderately sad. How do you make cow babies? Wheat. <sighs> I just used all my wheat. Well to get the cow baby. Come on, guys. Work with me. Uh oh, that's right. You've got the world's narrowest bridge. Will they disease my other cows? No. They won't shroom my other cows? Nope. Okay, good. But if you could come down this way and widen out your bridge, that would probably be appreciated. I can do that. I'd be right there. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that I still got to tear this, this down, too. Oh, while I'm waiting for a bridge to get built. Um, I need vines. And to remember how to do it. Oh, the mossy stone? Yeah. You can't do it once it's already slapped? No. Only with the bricks. <sighs> But you can combine the slabs back into a bricks because of the data pack that we have. Oh, uh, is my inventory full? My inventory is full. Oh. There we go. <coughs> I hope my water's still there. It is. Oh, he scared me. Oh, he's holding a thing, too. Yeah. Where's... There it is. Okay. There we go. Now I got everything. can't sleep. I'm holding on to your cows. No, I said oops. Oh. Really weird to be this close to the void. It's okay to stare into the void, so long as the void doesn't stare back. Oh, it's staring. <laughs> <coughs> you gonna put a uh, third one across? That's right, because you get that thing where you can't have it an e be an even number anyway. I hate even numbers. Oh, don't worry about it, X and M. These guys going? Come on, I need to be hungry again. You you're telling me towing a couple of cows by by the lead is not uh? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get these guys over to the uh, the base of your stairwell, and then <laughs> drop the leads. You, you can you can take them up the stairs. <laughs> That's fair. Thank you. Does it need to be wider than this? Uh, that should be wide enough. Alright guys, don't... Nah, no, not near the edge. You, you should... I realized I was about to tell a cow you should be smarter than that. Yeah, I don't think that's how cows work. <coughs> Oh, I can't, uh, 
I can't break the lead. <laughs> Can I? Because I'm on your island. Um, put them put them in a box, and I'll walk far enough away that the leads break on their own. <laughs> put what in a box? Just build build a build a square box around them. No, oh, hold them still. They shouldn't be able to get out of that, right? All right. There should be two leads over there now. Yep. Where? On the ground. It's under one of the blocks you put. Hmm. Good luck. Thank you. There's your mushrooms. I, I guess running and jumping down the uh, pathway <laughs> over the void was probably <coughs> not my, probably not my brightest moment. They're safe right there, right? <laughs> yeah, they're safe right there for now. And you said they won't count as cows for the purpose of the challenge. Thing? No, they will not count as cows for purpose of the challenge. All right, uh, spruce store ladders. Just Spencer and Hopper. If I were me, I would have put the stairway takes a while to get up. Yeah, now, now you know why I just brought them over to your island. And a cowl slab. Oh, that's right. I was gonna use that to get uh to get eggs. My brain. Baby cow. Mm-hmm. Alright. Grow up, baby cow. What is What is Suspicious Stew number two? Ow! Oh, it's poison! You're gonna get a bad review on Yelp. No, that I had that problem earlier, where where before I put this temporary roof up, a lightning bolt hit right here. So my two cartographers and the mason that was next, no, and the cleric that was next to him were all turned into witches. It was the first of a couple of AFK misadventures. I I, I keep hoping that the 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 misadventures will happen less frequently, but, um, well, you know. Well. Bless you. No, 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 not you, not you, not you, thank you. You're, not okay, you. I won't not bless you. you then. Not you, not you, not you, no the piggies! What about the piggies? The piggies are misbehaving... Was it the piggy that went to the market? Or the or the piggy that stayed home? Oh, no. It must have been the guy that went wee 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 all the way home, right? <coughs> Can you lead a baby? Uh usually it is frowned upon in society. <laughs> <laughs> Generally speaking, yes. Oh, oh, you're talking about the baby animals. 
Yes. Yes. You, you can use a lead on a baby animal. <laughs> come, come on, Beach Duck. Like, like you really, you you really didn't, you, you didn't see that one coming. I don't know how. Oh. <laughs> I, I forget about those sometimes, and, and I I still have some very mixed opinions about that. How you doing? Yeah. a yes. All right, let me get my carrots while they're on sale. <laughs> Isn't that the way that's supposed to work? All right. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. All right. No, I I get that. That. I feel like that's a little different th than what Reyes asked, though, to to be fair. <coughs> I don't know that I want to go ahead and start taking the time to get into it, but one of my projects is to build a river between my base and medic space. I'm going to go ahead and do the glass fog effect for the water. So I'm going to have a couple layers of blue and then cyan and then two layers of light blue. So that way I get that particular shade of fog and then I'm going to put a layer of water on top of that. Um, yeah, just one layer of water though. So, I, <laughs> this is why I was a little cranky about not having my uh, all my villagers that sell glass. You know, two of the three that disappeared were my glass merchants. Because I'm going to need a lot of glass. I, I won't even begin to tell you how many stacks of blue just went into the base layer. And I'm going to start building up a textured wall from here up to there. Um, I'm going to start putting some rock formations like this one. I don't know how visible they'll be. It really seems like the where those two buttons are is the point of visibility. But on the off chance that it does go further than that, uh, I'm going ahead and building the the rock mound all the way down to the bottom. Uh, if nothing else, that means I don't have to put glass underneath it. And while well, I got those two there, I don't want there really to be too many. So I might put the next one like here-ish and bring it up taller. Maybe get one more over here or so. Another small one over here that might actually crest up out of the water. And then this is going to be some sort of a basin. I haven't quite figured out the, the shape of it all, but I think this is where I'm going to start curving a bowl that goes back and up. And then where that walkway is, I might pair that back and set uh, an overlook so you can go to the edge of the walkway and go up, get up on a porch of some sort, uh, you know, an overlook porch of some sort and look out at the, at the glorious coffee pot and see the islands as best you can from that vantage point. And maybe figure out a slime machine to uh, fling eggs over at Arcadius' base. I don't know about that last part, though. I haven't figured out how to fling eggs diagonally. I am. Ha I think I got this working. Uh, I can use this to turn them on and off individually. Uh, and I've got this master switch that should turn them all off. Yeah. 
I just need to figure out at what point at what point this ends up getting marked as full to do the auto turn off and what I'll probably do is while I'm doing the video upload and overnight I'll leave, I'll go AFK and hope that uh, a hope that the <laughs> a I'll hope that this fills up overnight and then I can start worrying about how to how to work the shut off and B, hope that more villagers don't mysteriously disappear during my AFK session. Because that's where the last batch went, over two different AFK sessions. Uh, the first one, those three villagers were gone. The next one, those three villagers were gone. Uh, it does bother me that they it's a trio of them and that they're always next to each other within a certain, you know, block spacing. I do find that slightly curious. Uh, oh, I should have named the cat Bilbo. Because he was the cat burglar. Never mind. I'll stop now. Or maybe I should name him the wizard. Because he appears precisely when he wants to. Okay, never mind. I'll stop. No, I, won't. I can't stop. Yeah, I will. That's got to be on the agenda. I've got to get that Guardian farm done so I can get some of those challenges as well. And I think what I'll do is I'll... Oh, that's it. I think I'll make... Um... No, I need to keep the sand. I need to keep the sand so that way I can expand the um, the cactus farm. And I'll start saving cactus and sand from uh, from my AFK session. So I can build another one. Yeah, that's okay. I'm getting ready to call it a night here too. Just kind of getting my mental to-do list in order. Which I will surely forget by the time Friday rolls around and I do this again. <laughs> Have fun. Enjoy. Uh, ooh. Empire Strikes Back. That is a good one. Too bad Arcadius isn't on the mic. He, he could definitely... He'd, I'm pretty sure he has things to say about which ones are the good ones and which ones are the others. All right. I need to get those guys moved into their farming space. I'll tear down that mycelium patch. Where am I going to put the guardian farm? That is the question. I could... I think I could set the guardian farm up in one of these slime chunks, and that way, that way I'm not wasting the space. Because uh, I don't... I don't think anything I was going to do in the Guardian farm would allow for slimes to spawn. Yeah. Oh, now I know what I need. I need I need enough uh magma blocks. Yeah, I don't think two stacks in a bit are going to be enough, so I may have to work on that some more, too. All right. Lots of projects. Let me uh, let me hit the credits, say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I go live on Coffee Craft. Fridays have been off schedule. That's the kind of way of putting it. Uh <laughs> Normally I do games revisit on Fridays, but this last one's been kind of uh, just with the, yeah, with a lot of stuff. Uh, Zelda's been on an indefinite hiatus. I, I really need to finish that, and then I'll probably uh, put games revisited on hold until the new calendar year. But I will continue to stream on Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. 
Let's see, who's available to raid? No Beast Lord? Nope. No Beast Lord. Alright, let's uh let's go raid Grimly. It looks like he's doing some software development. He's probably working on his bot. Uh it seems like uh He's trying to develop a custom bot for his chat, which, uh, that, that, I really do need to do that myself. I, actually, I need to take advantage of the Streamlabs one that's already there. No, maybe I'll write my own. Right. Anyway, stick around for the raid. Have fun. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>